The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Dead Space. So we're still on Chapter 3, Course Correction. This is Part 3. Um, let's take a look and see what's up. All right, what is next? I forget where. Oh, boy. Okay, this is that one spot that I was taking a look at that I was thinking about going, and then I was like, man, we'll come back here later. It turns out that is indeed the case. Locked, huh? Not anymore. Alright, let me interact with the store for a minute. I got some stuff we have to do there. Oh, okay. Jellified Hydrazine. I don't know if that's a new item, but I certainly don't recognize that one. Okay, let's see. Bronze Semiconductor, we'll sell that. Okay. Oh, we've got a lot of money. Uh, gold semiconductor. Okay, let's see. Flamethrower, we're going to move to storage. Okay, so we can't sell that. These we can all sell, but I'm going to go ahead and say move to storage as well. Okay, so we've got three health packs, three stasis packs, two air containers, not a lot of ammo either. So it says 25 and 6, which is 31. So why does that say 44? Is that because of what's in my current magazine? That might be why. Okay, let's see. Don't need that. Stasis plasma energy, probably. Ripper blades. Power node. Only have one. Flamethrower upgrade ripper. Pulse rifle flamethrower fuel. Do I want to buy that? It's a lot of money. Yeah. I kind of want to buy one more. I really hope that wasn't a stupid decision. Let's see, what do I have in storage? Can I sell anything? I'm not going to use the ammo anyway. Sell. 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 I might as well just make that. Sell. Uh, these ones I'll keep just in case. I'm not sure if I'll need it, but... I think we're okay. Okay, so we have three nodes now, right? Yep, okay, good. Oh, we're going to the tram now. Okay, so chapter three is done. Excellent. Okay, perfect. So this isn't chapter three, part four. This is chapter four, obliteration imminent. Okay, good. All right, there we go. If I would have known that, I would include that in the last episode. That's okay. Perfect. That actually works out well for me. I didn't want to do part three anyway. So yeah, chapter four, obliteration imminent. Lockdown. Yeah, I noticed some frame rate dips. I wonder if... Let's take a look and see. I wonder if some settings changed. Let's see. Displaying graphics. Brightness, motion blur. I turn that off. Film grain. I'm going to turn that off. Because I don't really know if that does anything for me. Dynamic resolution. Vibrate. Variable rate shading. Uh, actually, it helps provide some performance gains, but can cause some loss. Okay, I don't care.
We'll do high. See if that helps out with the FPS. I just want to see if it works. I really hope that doesn't change too much. Nope, that broke it. It's now so bad I can't even move the character. What the hell? Yeah, he's not even respond. Oh, wait, because we're in the menu. Yeah, but now, okay. Yeah, that's garbage. Why is it moving like that? Yeah, that got weird. Okay, let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, what the heck? See, we'll do custom. Light quality, high. Shadow quality, high. Reflection, high. Volumetric resolution. Resolution of volumetric fog in relation to the render resolution. Higher settings can have a significant performance cost. What did that do? I don't know if that's really doing anything. Okay, the method of ambient occlusion. No ambient occlusion. Advanced screen space. Ray trace. Hmm. I'm going to turn that off for now. Depth of field quality. Okay, that looks like it's better. Much smoother now. Because I think, you know, I know there's some like super snobs about the visual aspects of games and stuff, but like my eyes are stupid. I can't really tell the difference. Plus this moves way smoother. And that's much more important. 60 FPS is fine, okay? I really don't care for like crazy FPS. Doesn't really do much. Okay, this is where we are going. So what is this that's locked? Medical. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think it looks great. 60 FPS, some high stuff. And like, I've got a 2080 Super that I'm running this game on. It's a little annoying that I now have to consider a possible upgrade to that. But the 40 series is out, so I gotta consider upgrading. I don't know, I might just do 30. I heard the 40 series is garbage. But I think the game looks fantastic. It looks better, if not just as good on PlayStation 5 as it does here. The PlayStation 5 is a powerful freaking console. Now yep. arriving at the bridge. Everything's fully optimized. It looks beautiful. Things run better on it. Great performance, great visuals. It's like a powerhouse computer all its own. And at the fraction of cost of a PC. You know what I mean? I don't know. It just kind of seems like at this point consoles are catching up to PC gaming that there's not really a need for PC gaming as much these days. But Isaac, I'm looking at the ADS cannons. They're a mess. I'm gonna need your help. I am not losing the Ishimura. Not now. The Ishimura Hammond or the marker. That artifact they found? Don't bullshit us. CEC knew all along about the marker, didn't they? Isn't that why you're really here? Corporate wouldn't send the Ishimura for some off-the-books mining. But alien technology, yeah, that fits. He knew. losing my team fit into this theory. Hey, knock this shit off. We're into the debris field. We get the ADS back together, or it's over. Then meet me at the captain's nest. Daniels? Fine. But I'm going through the ship reports, Hammond. I'm getting some answers. <laughs> She's so dead. I don't think I don't think Hammond is a bad guy, but it's very obvious that the dude knows things. We need to find a freaking table soon. What do we have here? A little money. Money. Okay. Yeah, I think the game is running very well. Okay. After those changes. Unless it's just completely anecdotal and I'm just like making it up. I don't know, whatever. Save point. Save it for safety. You 
can see that thing back in there. What the hell is that? That thing... I've never seen that before. I don't remember seeing that thing in the game. That's weird. Was that a new enemy? I, that thing looked different than anything I've ever seen before. I'm not sure. But I have a feeling I know what's coming. Um, could be nice for a suit upgrade at some point. Would be good. This is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I know what this is. All right, friends. Let's uh, shit. There we go. You okay? At least containment and life support are holding. So far. Yeah, this is uh. Yeah. I know what comes next. Do you? Yeah, I know where Hammond is at, but I'm going to grab all this stuff because we're going to need it. This is a boss room. And... I mean, we're not playing on, on, like, the hardest difficulty, so it'll be fine. But... It might still prove to be quite a challenge, so... Are these... Level 3? Asshole move. Security request retrieved. Sweet. Security coming! We've been boarded! I repeat, the ship has been boarded! We are under attack! They've killed most of the deck staff. Where the hell is Steve Vincent? We need security back up now! Guns are useless. We... Voice acting is really good in this. I, the whole, all the performances are very, very believable, and I like that a lot. Okay, for safety. Seeing things, right? That's Chen. You can't help him, Hammond. He's. You're right. I should. The hell with it. What does that do? Forty-seven launched. Why would you launch us? Years. Johnston too. At least she was spared becoming a monster. I don't understand why you would do that. I'm gonna fix this, Hammond. For them. Yeah. Come on. The ADS cannons. He just wasted an escape pod and he just launched a monster in the escape pod towards some unknown location. Position for a while. If no more asteroids come through the roof. That wasn't like in the vacuum of space. That was specifically launching him out. Like, that seems weird. Because an escape pod is meant to, like, help you live, right? So you get out, you escape. So it just launched somewhere, probably on the planet, I guess. Here. Whatever. All I can tell is the ADS power route was shot. I'll get to it in a second. Well, the administration systems aren't doing much. We could redirect power from there. I'd need to rewire the junction boxes, but we get the ADS cannons back. Good. Executive clearance authorization recipient. About what you said. About any illegal mining or the market. I swear, I'm just here for a repair mission. Look, Hammond, 
I don't know you or Daniels well enough to judge, but CEC had to know about the marker. The company made it. Shit like that's above my pay grade. Look, we can get into it later. You'll need a way down to those junction boxes. You can turn the atrium elevators back on from security. You'll have full access. I found a CEC executive key card. I'll upgrade your clearance. Nice. Okay. You upgraded yours already? Yeah. Just in case. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. This ring code permits the recipient. I heard something up there. Something big. Watch your back. I will once I'm done reading. This ring code permits the recipient Warren Eckhart, Eckhart executive access aboard the USG Ishimura until such time as it is revoked by Captain Matthias. Please secure your rig and do not allow other access to restricted areas. Separate codes must be obtained for any staff members. As requested, Executive Director Altman be praised. Altman. There we go. Start digging into that. Priority message to Captain Matthias from Kine. Dr. Kine. More time. Benjamin... Further to our recent conversation, I'm putting it in writing that we should delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know how eager I am. You need to reactivate the elevators from security. You know how eager I am to study the marker, and I understand your sense of, of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's exactly my reasoning. What's happening down there is just too unprecedented to act incautiously. We need time to study the causes and effects. After consulting with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with. Doctors Sorello and Welland, planet side. Their observations on a particular patient may be invaluable to understanding what we're dealing with here. Parents. Nice. Two. I, I guess. Warning. Yeah. Multiple security protocols have been corrupted. Some areas may be inaccessible. Recommendation. Acquire department rig permissions and compile master security override at this console. So I found one rig earlier. I don't know if any of those. We don't fix the ADS cannons. I'll be piloting the cloud seven. Well, I guess we'll find him. But time now for some boss action. I still think that was so stupid to launch that. Side mission unlocked. Sweet. We'll do all those after chapter 11. Chapter 12 is the final. And so we'll do after chapter 11 before chapter 12. Yep, save it again for safety because this is going to be... This is going to be a thing. got chapter 2 access, so that door is open, but that doesn't mean anything right now. Shit. Yeah. Hi, big boy. That's the thing. Okay, so that's what we saw earlier. I do not remember it being that easy. Damn. Huh. Okay. This was secure level three, wasn't it? Level Bitches. three security clearance required. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Was there anything else out here that was level two? Because I feel like that gave us, like, pretty much nothing. Huh. I remember that boss also being, like, way bigger. Oh, lockers. Can I open them with two? Yes. I don't know. Whatever. Kind of built that up, and it sort of fell flat, didn't it? <laughs> Oops. Finally. It's on the record, Doctor. This is mutiny. The marker must be delivered to the church, whatever the cost. God's sakes, Ben, listen to yourself. The Ishimura's in crisis, you've cut us off. By Maritime Law, Article 5469. 
I, Dr. Terence Kine, hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. Hold him. Ben, you're not yourself. Let me help you. Traitors, get your hands off me! This is my shit! Oh my god, he's... You... Ben. You saw I was trying to help him. Shit. Doctor, you... You just killed the captain. We have to take you in. I can't. If the others from the church get a hold of me. Stop! Killed him by accident. He fell into him. Oops. Alright, let's upgrade some stuff, shall we? Okay, so plasma cutter. Can I do some damage? Looks like I could. Reload it. What is this one? Special two? What's a cartridge pack? Heat accumulator? I don't know what that is. Greatly increases ammo capacity. Okay. What does this do, though? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't know what that... Oh, wow. Sweet. All right, then we got another capacity. This is rate of fire. Reload applies damage over time to each shot. That's cool. That's Some of this stuff is really new. And then we have the section down below. Do we have anything for the suit that I want to toss in here? Yeah, HP. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Cool. 18. Yeah, no kidding. Give me five additional shots. And damage increase and HP increase. Big ass bitch. Wait, I missed something? Is there like a switch or something I missed? Where is the elevator? At? Oh, that. Atrium elevators are now online. Yeah, FPS is dipping a little bit. So it doesn't really matter. I like how it does that, that it marks some of the floors. Yeah, that area was just so poorly optimized because now everything's back to normal in this area. Save for safety. Okay, and what is our current objective? We're at power from mining administration. Okay, so it's not too bad. That's going to be a bit intense, though. I'm trying to think if this is, uh, yeah, I should probably stop it right here. Just because I feel like, yeah, because we're at a safe point. I know it's a little shorter, I apologize. But we will continue with more of our Dead Space playthrough tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. If you did enjoy this video, albeit a brief one, show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links here that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors, or any of that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of this remake of Dead Space. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.